All right, what's up guys? Ben with Tactical Nutrition, where we are examining the health and fitness industry. And like I like to say, cutting through the propaganda. So I've got a very specific nutrient slash supplement um, that I want to talk about today. It's one of the most important ones out there, in my opinion. What I'm talking about is nitric oxide. So first off, I'm talking about NO2. So NO is nitrous oxide, which is laughing gas, which is not going to give you the same benefit. Nitric oxide, I remember reading about this first about 15 years ago. There's a guy named Dr. Louis Ignaro who wrote a book called NO, more heart disease. It was like a play on nitric oxide. So I get, actually, no, I guess nitric oxide is just NO and NO2 is nitrous. Anyway, so it was called No More Heart Disease, and he did a lot of research into um, nitric oxide and what it is. So it's what it is, your body creates it naturally. Um, it's what controls oftentimes the dilation of your blood vessels and also your breathing pathways, which is what's really going to give it um, give it a lot of effectiveness in your workouts or just health in general. So high blood pressure is a, a, is a problem in this country, obviously, an epidemic, dare I say. And um, it goes usually along with an unhealthy lifestyle and oftentimes obesity and type 2 diabetes and things like that. But essentially, high blood pressure is like the opposite of the effect of nitric oxide. It's where like Imagine a garden hose with your blood flowing through it, right? Your arteries, your veins, all that. And so if they're like clenched down tight, they're not dilated out, then your blood, your, your heart has to pump a lot harder to get um, the blood flowing through there. Just like a garden hose outside, if it's like kinked or if it's, fl if it's not fully expanded, it's harder to get the water to go through there. So basically like that'll just like, that puts a lot of strain on your heart over the long term. So a lot of blood pressure medications um, are based on, around nitric oxide. It's also in a lot of pre-workouts. So when it says like increased blood flow, like you'll see NO, you know, there was NO Explode and Jack 3D and black powder, all these like different, there's, there's like 50 pre-workouts out, out there. The one I use called Prepare has uh, a nitric oxide in it. But it's, so it doesn't actually have, these supplements don't actually have nitric oxide in them. What they do is they have nitric oxide precursors, which makes this a special kind of supplement because it's something your body is already making. It's just giving it, the ability to create more and so what will happen is uh, if you take a pre-workout um, a lot of times it's just caffeine but nitric oxide will actually expand out your blood and I mean I noticed when I started using it years ago you like your work capacity in the gym or just any workout in general just goes through the roof because you're just getting better blood flow better blood flow to the muscle, more blood flow to your brain, right? So it is increasing your like cognitive abilities. And also uh, what, I, what I thought at first, and then I ended up confirming this is correct, is it actually dilates your breathing, like your bronchioles and your breathing pathways, like your trachea and stuff like that. And so what that does is you're like, it's just like supercharging your engine. It's just allowing so much more oxygen to flow, oxygenation of the blood to flow through. Um, you 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 get a lot more per breath going through your lungs into your into your blood, and then you also have just more better blood flow. So if you think about that, there's so many different effects. It's also good for recovery because again, you're just getting more nutrition. You're getting more nutrients into the cells, and so. You'll notice in certain pre-workouts, you'll know that there's uh, the nitric oxide precursors. The 
the most popular one, at least, used to be L-arginine. And then there's L-citrulline. And then there's actually like ornithine. There's different precursors that like they discovered new ones here and there. But so if you are going to get a uh, pre-workout supplement, then you should make sure that those ingredients are in there, especially citrulline and arginine. Some people would argue that ornithine is like the most effective, but mainly what this is going to do is you can see how pre-workouts pretty much all have this in there because then if you combine that with caffeine, it's like you get a little, now caffeine is not something that's made in your body. So that's what's kind of different about nitric oxide because you can't really like take too much nitric oxide. But if you combine, um, if you combine nitric oxide precursors with sensible amounts of caffeine, some of these things have like 400 milligrams of caffeine. It's my opinion is way too much. They have to have warning labels on them. I feel like it just kind of makes me, my body run too hot a lot of times. But if you find, you know, this arginine and citrulline and ornithine, then you know you're getting nitric oxide. So also, Dr. Luignaro, when he wrote that book, No More Heart Disease, also uh, saying that, I guess he's like, in his idea, it was like a thousand times more powerful than like vitamin C as an antioxidant. So again, it's like, it's going around, it's traveling around the body and it's eating up free radicals. Um, also a side note is that Viagra, they, Lou Ignaro, who's on the board of my nutrition company, uh, they call him the father of Viagra because that's his, I, I suppose his research was where they got Viagra and Cialis. And all of those are is essentially a bunch of nit nitric oxide, because if you think about it, if uh, a lot of people that have erectile dysfunction, like there, I'm sure there's like real reasons why a normal person could get it, maybe mental even. But a lot of these people are, let's just be honest, they're really overweight and it's causing the blood pressure to, to go up. And so it's harder to get blood flow down into the you know what. So they take Viagra and it vasodilates. And so now they can, uh, you know, make the magic happen. And cyclists actually, I remember hearing like back in the day when like Lance Armstrong was really, you know, in his heyday, a lot of these cyclists were actually using Viagra as a, um, performance enhancing like drug almost because again the viagra is just expanding out your blood flow so i mean for a, a sport any kind of endurance sports where you're like really you're really cranking it up to a high level for an exterior extended period of time nitric oxide is really useful so anyway i'm not going to go on too much longer about it but Nitric oxide is like one of those things where like there's very few sports supplements that also are just really healthy for your body. So in this case, you're getting increased work output, increased nutrient flow. You'll sleep better. Everything gets better with nitric oxide, uh, in my opinion. So we have it in a tablet form or in the or in powder form or in the pre-workout. So there's actually three different products that we have. You can comment below, I can tell you more about that. But anyway, guys, it's just a very good uh, supplement for you. Um, we'll cover a, a lot of these other nutrients in the, in the future. One side note is you can get it through um, foods as well like obviously you don't have to use some i think supplements are just a great way to do it because they just kind of just get right in there uh but you can also have beets there's a uh, like beet juice um i used to drink uh i keep like jars of beets that i buy you know organic beets that i buy at the supermarket and then when i'm done i don't you know flush that juice away i actually mix it with water 
and a little bit of salt before my workout sometimes because I just don't want to waste it, but also it improves your, um, it improves your nitric oxide production. I don't really know a lot of other foods off the top of my head, but there's a lot of, there's a lot of different things that will, that will coincide with, uh, nitric oxide. Uh, I know that it's, it also has a bit to do with like your testosterone levels. So if your testosterone levels are higher, you get more t nitric oxide production, I believe. So then you can take all these different products like fish oils or different olive oils and healthy fats like that, that will inadvertently help your nitric oxide. So anyway, guys, that's all I got for you. I'll keep this one under like 15 minutes today. And just get after it and don't be afraid to comment what you think below if you have a certain product you like or anything to add to the discussion. Like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. I will talk to you guys later. Peace.